This wasn't political in the Republican Democrat sense. This was executive legislative. And so I think there are uh, a number of people who are using this as a political axe to grind. I think that's most unfortunate. Well, that was Secretary of State Mike Pompeo slamming lawmakers who are trying to use the president's decision to kill uh, Qasem Soleimani to their own advantage. Let's bring in a senior research fellow at the Heritage Foundation, Colonel John J.V. Venable. Colonel, good morning. Great to be with you. You know, there's a lot of back and forth uh, on the political divide. It's, it's like they've made this a partisan issue. But Mike Pompeo was very clear to Laura Ingram. American lives were at risk. They were, they were planning. Soleimani was planning attacks against Americans. Uh, do, did we make the right decision, first and foremost, to kill this general, this terrorist? No, oh, I think we absolutely did. This was a tragedy. The incident where the airliner was lost was an absolute tragedy. Given the opportunity to go back and revisit a couple of things, that I think we might have, but uh, go back and look at what we did with Osama bin Laden and how we had the opportunity several times to take that man out. And we chose not to. If we had, we would have saved countless American lives and huge amounts of money. And, uh, and this is one where you've got a known convict hanging outside of a bank and we're not going to take action on him. I think right. it was the right move. Also, Colonel, you know, former uh, presidential candidate, former senator from Massachusetts, John Kerry, uh, coming out and blasting uh, the secretary of state and about, his, uh, about the decision. And the secretary of state said, look, there is no reason that we, we can't you know, protect Americans. This decision was about uh, protecting and defending the American people. John Kerry says, that it was our fault, uh, excuse me, Secretary Pompeo says, look, it was the Obama administration's fault that they had enough money to build their missile systems, their weapon system, that they had enough money to fight these shadow wars in Yemen uh, and, and Libya and other places, Syria, for example. Is the blame really on the Obama administration in all of this? Well, the Obama administration didn't just appease that uh, Iranian regime. They furthered their efforts by giving them that large sum of money and looking the other way through mishap and terrorist incident after terrorist incident. This resets that record and puts them back in a cage. You know, it's interesting, too, because, you know, Kerry was saying that it was some kind of fantasy uh, that Iran was trying to destabilize uh, American interests, which seems a little ridiculous. I want to move on to the aircraft, and I want to get your military expertise on this, because now the Pentagon believes that that Ukrainian airliner was shot down by the Iranians by a missile system there. Did they mistake it for an American military aircraft, in your opinion? Is that possible? Was it just that it, they just saw something in the sky and... and what do you think happened here? Because it's, it's devastating what happened to those innocent lives. Cheryl, the extreme political tensions between the two nations was so high that the chance of a miscalculation and one side or the other identifying an airliner as a, as a hostile aircraft was absolutely there. The fact that the Iranian government allowed for commercial airliners to continue operating that night was completely irresponsible. If you couple that with the fact that we had F-35s in the region and have had them there for several months and those operators being trigger happy, knowing they would get a fleeting glance of an F-35, if at all, once they see that airliner up there, they can't take the time in their own minds to confirm it with another source. And then they and then they take him down. Well, and that was tragic. Yeah, it is tragic. And, and again, it's tragic considering that they had billions of dollars in funding because of that 2015 uh, nuclear deal. And that's what President Trump took us out of, uh, which is it's been fascinating to watch how this has all unfolded. Colonel, thank you so much Pleasure. for your expertise this morning. Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's